Hello, Chigga Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Happy Sunday, everybody. So I'm dressed, ready to go. I've got to do this really, really fast because I'm headed out to my son's or my grandson's. I keep saying my son. My grandson's soccer game, practice thingy, whatever it is that they do at three. <laughs> about to be four year old but yeah so i'm all excited about seeing him i love seeing him he's just he's a bundle of joy he's my heart and soul you guys know that so i want to share my outfit today um i am wearing another pair of the shorts that are from free people the other day when i tried these on i bought these for my trip but i never actually wore them when i was on my trip to california and i kept thinking when i tried them on i was like these feel bigger but i was like but they're not and I looked at them today and they are a, ha a size larger these are 29 so they do fit quite a bit bigger but I still like them like I think they look kind of you know I don't know they just look good I like them okay so um and then I have on this is a uh, camouflage top that I got from TJ Maxx as well I don't remember the brand name I've had this one for a while I just hadn't really been wearing it and I just kind of thought these two paired together today would look really really good I've got my black um is this I don't remember is this this is lucky brand I think belt on today and then um the top is distressed and the shorts are a little bit distressed but not really they just kind of have like little jaggies in them but the top does have some distress kind of like all around the shoulder area i think maybe in the back area i'm not real sure and i couldn't figure out i was like what shoes do i wear with this like i don't know and i'm looking through my closet and i'm like because this is more grayish blackish but more gray i guess and with the greens and i don't have and i need something comfortable because i'm going to be sitting out at the soccer field so i was like what do i wear and at the last minute i remembered my little um slip-ons that are by nine west I freaking love these they have studs in them they're kind of like rustic I mean not rustic what's the word I'm looking for tough I don't know military-ish looking maybe I don't know so I kind of thought these paired with the um, with the um, camouflage shirt would actually work out pretty good I hope I'm not flashing y'all let me turn this way <laughs> but yes yeah, so I thought these would look really really cute I'll give you a close-up look at these you guys have seen these a million times more so yeah I absolutely love these um super comfortable and i thought these will be perfect for today and they'll look perfect with the outfit so this is my little outfit of the day uh fab over 50 and yes showing the legs um the video that i did gosh on friday i'm gonna i'm gonna work on it i think i may have some bits and pieces of it left i don't know if i can put it together or not if not um i just lost the footage that's all i can say but anyway um that's that what can i say so i'm gonna go ahead and get out because i need to hop in my car and uh head on off to the game so didn't really do a whole lot of jewelry just have on my watch and my bracelet uh which is you know my 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 um james avery bracelet compliments of my darling child and then i just have on some earrings so and one little ring today so got my purse and i am the purse y'all and I'm going to head out. And as far as lips today, guys, I, I ended up just putting on my, um, the lip balm stuff that I've been wearing. I just kind of decided I didn't really want to, I don't know. I just, I don't normally do lipstick when I'm with my grandson, just because like I said, I kiss on him and I love on him and I kiss on my son. I love on my daughter-in-law. You know, I just, a lot of kissing going on. <laughs> so lipstick, I don't know. I feel like it just kind of gets in the way, you know, it just causes lipstick on everybody. So I usually just wear gloss but today i just thought i'm just gonna put my balm on and just kind of go with the balm and just you know see how it works out for me so it's always neutralized it's nourishing not neutralizing nourishing my lips so you know hey that works and that stuff's really good i really like it so anyway i'm gonna see you guys in the car so i will chat with you guys later hey chicka pies how we doing how we feeling so i've been like MIA I guess because like I vlogged this morning to show you guys what I was wearing and then I like totally dropped off the face of the earth so I went to my son's soccer game and driving there I was just kind of again like, still not feeling like great so I just kind of wanted to just kind of chill and just drive you know so I didn't vlog and then I left there went to Target and I thought you know I'm just I'm just driving and did my thing in Target, which I did. Did I buy anything in Target? Target was a must-have buy. Like, you know, like the things that we get at Target or Walmart that, you know. Like, I didn't 
I went into the women's section, the clothing section, um, but I didn't buy anything, so I'm really proud of myself. But you know, I did the must-haves. Like, I, this is my favorite deodorant, and they had the two-pack. And so, um, I got the two-pack, and then I like using the Vaseline cocoa, I guess, I want to say cocoa oil, I guess, one, but it's like six bucks, and like, this one's like four. So, I mean, I just really want it for the shine on my legs. I don't really, I mean, I use lotion, so I just really want this basically for the shine on my legs. So I got this. Um, nothing had like the, um, what is it, the Target, um, nothing was in my cartwheel, so I didn't save anything. And then I picked these up, which, you know, the summer eve, excuse me, goodness. Um, I love these things to keep in my purse. Nothing worse than going to a restroom and there's not a paper, I mean, toilet paper is not in the, in the bathroom. So I always have these in my purse for that purpose as well as of course for freshening up. But um, yeah, so that's all I did at Target. Like I'm so proud of myself. And then I left Target and I went to Trader Joe's, which again, so proud of myself. Like I kind of wanted, I mean I have stuff everywhere y'all, forgive me. But I kind of wanted to buy like more, but I, I, I just didn't. And I picked these up. Um, these are going to be like my morning snack. Um, I used to, I buy these sometimes and then I drop off buying them. But um, I got, I normally just get the, the ones from like ATB. But I've been seeing these at Trader Joe's. I think I bought these once at Trader Joe's. But um, I love blueberries. So I got these. And then I just got some, a couple little dark chocolate snacks that I like to have. And then I got my wine, guys. My sparkling wine. So yeah, some, I love this stuff. Like this is my, my treat to myself. This is like, I've had a rough day and I'm gonna have a glass of wine wine. <laughs> so yeah, okay, you guys that will follow my channel, you know I don't drink, so that's just my little thing. And then I got these. I love these guys. I think I probably have shown them in, in several videos, probably in the past, whatever, but these are one of my favorite things to buy. I buy the cinnamon ones and I buy the original. I just fluctuate back and forth. I could have bought like every bag they had because they don't have them very often. They're like $1.99 a bag though. So like I have to go easy on them. But because I've been doing more of the not eating past 7 like I'm or 7.30ish, I, um, you know, I'm just kind of being more careful of what I put in my body um, just in general. Like I'm like, you know, like when it comes to candy, like if I want something, I'm trying to do just like something that's more healthy, like the dark chocolate. So I got those and I like I was so tempted to buy a bag of M&Ms today in Target and I talked myself out of it. I was so proud of myself. Like I physically, you know, it, it wasn't that I had to force myself out of it. I just told myself I don't want it. And I was okay with that, you know, so that worked perfectly. And I have, oh, I'm like, where's the other bag? And then, okay. So I did some underwear purchasing, which I need to do some underwear returning as well. Um, I have, um, I ended up, I bought some underwear at Ross, but I ended up liking the ones that I got at Marshall. So I never even, well, obviously I never put them on. I wouldn't be returning them. But, um, okay, yeah, I'm going to show you all my paintings. These are granny panties. Well, they're well. Okay, wait. These are granny panties, but I prefer these kind of panties for underneath my dresses. Um, I just feel more comfortable. I don't like having like thongs on underneath dresses, like especially now because some of them are so thin. I feel like I need something else down there. <laughs> so um, I don't know if I like these or not. Like I, I, I want it just all beige, but um, of course, you know, you can't just get all beige. And so I got this three pack. I'm not, I'm gonna check somewhere else before I wear them probably and see if I see them somewhere else where I can just buy like single pairs. I mean like, of course I can wear this pair if I'm wearing a black dress or whatever and I can wear the white, but the beige is like, you know, like that's a given color. So I don't know, I just really wish they had them in beige. But these are what I call granny panties, but they do work very well underneath dresses. And then I got these because I thought, well, you know, I want some that's that's kind of not so granny-ish too, to wear like under like my shorts I have on right now. They're um, they're cream color, and I want I'm cognizant of what I have on underneath them. Like I don't want to have a pair of thongs on where you can see a line going up my butt. So like I wouldn't wear this pair that way, but I would totally wear these two pair underneath there. And these were three pair for like seven, no eight ninety nine. I thought it was seven ninety nine, but eight ninety nine. So. 
I don't know. These are by Jones in New York. So these should be pretty decent underwear. Like, I don't know. And I got all of these in the size small. My thongs, I usually buy in a medium. But regular underwear, I always buy a size small. Because they just kind of fit better that way. And then I got... I got this dress because I have decided I'm going to bring the black dress back that I have. Um, I have a black dress and I just don't need that one. So I'm gonna, I'm not, I don't want anything else black. So I'm decided I'm gonna bring the black one back. But I did see this one in the olive green. And so, um, like see this dress, I would, I would probably wear like the white panties underneath this because I just feel like I'm covered more. But um, it's, it's the same dress. <laughs> it's just, um, it's by Cloth and Stone. And of course, it's got the V-neck and it's got the high-low, but these are, this is a short sleeve one. So definitely great for the summer. At least I think this is, I'm gonna, I need to try it on. I haven't tried it on. So I picked that up knowing that I'm going to bring the black dress back. I just decided against the black dress. And if that fits okay, then perfect. And then lastly, guys, I got some popcorn at Target. And this popcorn, I mean, I was like, it looks kind of yellow. And I was like, It almost tastes like it has a flavor to it. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's not. I'm not feeling it. So I got this big bag of stuff and such a little bag. I'm like, okay, did they run out of big bags or what? But I needed to pick up some stuff. And I have two things I need to return. I need to return a lipstick and I need to re return a mascara. So needless to say. But I mentioned to you guys that I've been loving this um what is it what is this stuff by first aid first aid beauty first aid beauty yes um this is the facial cleanser I went on and got the big bottle of the first aid cleanser okay who is texting me like they can't oh my friend um I went on and picked up the first aid cleanser because I got the big bottle of this because I honestly think that I really like this. Like, I'm really impressed with it. I feel like it does good on my skin. I don't know. It's something about it I actually like. So I went on and got this. But then they had the kit because I was, like, looking at other stuff to see, like, what would be good things to try. And then they had this kit that has, like, um, it has a face moisturizer. It has the repair cream. And then it has, okay, let's put some... It has a firming nighttime or sleeping cream and it has a, this is what I was really interested in in the ultra ultra repair instant oatmeal mask like I don't know that just sounds very interesting to me and then it has an ultra repair serum oh this does have the serum in it so and I kind of was liking that serum so anyway I'm not real sure <clears throat> I want to try the oatmeal and then this, uh, the face moisturizer. So I got this kit. This kit was $44, <coughs> which is a big savings. So, yeah, so I'm kind of curious to see, like, the oatmeal mask. I want to try it. It says use two to three times a week. Um, so, yeah. So I picked that up. And then... I got my clear nail polish, my bottom coat, because I like to always have that on hand. And I picked up a brow gel, a brow, not a brow gel, a brow pencil from Anastasia. I've not ever used her brow pencils, but mine's are getting a little bit old and rugged. And this has the, um, it's a dual, dual sided. So I just kind of thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get that. And then I needed some more um, nail polish remover. So I picked that up. And I, I'm, because, I don't know that I really like that Marc Jacobs mascara. I mean, I like it, but I'm not like in love with it. And this uh, this was a good one. So I went on and picked this one up again. Um, it's the TARDIS one. I really, really liked it. So I thought, you know what? I know it works. I'm going to grab that again. And I actually have one that's by Clarion. That's one of the ones that I'm bringing back. I just could not make that one work at all for me. So I saw this. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. This is called a detox eye roller. And it's for underneath, um, under eye puffiness, dark circles, and fine lines. Um, I don't typically ever wear an eye cream. 
but I don't know it caught my eye I'm kind of thinking I want to try it maybe and see I don't know um, I don't know about this I, I'm gonna see if I feel any difference if not it's coming back now this is one of those I want to call it an impulse buy but it's not really an impulse buy I have so much stuff in this little bag. I don't know why this girl gave me this little bag instead of giving me a big bag. But, oh well. And I got a free gift with it. This is a sunscreen, which I'm pretty excited about trying that. It's a sunscreen by Clarence. This was a free gift with this. Now, I've heard some good things about this. Um, It's supposed to smooth your skin instantly, which I kind of put a little bit on my hand. It's a primer. I am in the market to find another primer. I, I, they have a primer that goes with this, but they didn't have it, which I should have still just like waited, but I wanted to see what this was like. And while I had the 20% off coupon, I thought, why not? Because I've heard some good things about it. I was kind of impressed with the way it left my hand looking. Um, of course it's one of those ones like that you have the little, um, you know, the little, that you stick your hands down and it's got a little scooper with it. So, but I want to see if I like this or not. I don't know if I am going to like it or not. Um, but we're going to see. So I got that. And that's everything that I picked up. So you guys got to see kind of a little haul, but this wasn't like, I mean, the, the haul today was like basically a haul of things that I really needed. Um, like the skincare, I mean, like, I was gonna need to get my skincare because I decided I wasn't gonna do the Mary Kay again. Um, I decided I wasn't gonna do the Mary Kay this go round. But I, I, because I really do like this new skincare line that I've been using. It's not new, but it's new to me. So um, yeah, so gosh, I feel like I look a hot mess. You guys, it's been raining like Set this in this bag right here. That's a smart move. Because I think when I get home, I'm gonna toss that gum. Not gum, but. Okay, that just went. I really need to clean my car out. I think when I get home, I'm going to toss that popcorn. I just, I'm like, it is so. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here. This rain came from kind of like out of nowhere. And so I'm kind of like, okay, I really need to stop at Ross and do a return. But I'm almost like, I don't know if I want to deal with getting out in the rain and all that. But at the same time, I'm hungry again. Like I had breakfast with the kids and I feel like I, um, could eat again like I'm hungry so go figure that one will you but um what time is it oh my gosh it's almost three o'clock I need to get home and I need to wash my hair go ahead move car so I don't know should I stop it and return I mean it's kind of a busy day like you know it's funny I the weekends, it seemed like it gets so crowded in the store. Sometimes I just, like when I was in Trader Joe's, I very quickly become became agitated because there was a lot of people in there. And that's a little store. That's a little bitty Trader Joe's, by the way. And so I was like, I am not going to deal with all this craziness. So that also helped me to save money in there because I was just like, I can't do it. I can't be spending a whole bunch of time in here because these people are getting on my nerves. They're making me want to hurt somebody. So... So yeah, so I don't know. I really need to go and do my return and get it over and done with, but then I'm kind of like, maybe I don't want All to. right, chicken pies. I did not go to do the other two returns. I decided I'm just gonna wait, or the other return. It's only one return actually. But I did end up running into ATB because I knew I needed to, I wanted to pick up that eyeliner because I wanted to have, I wanted to get another one. I mean, like I needed, not I needed, but like, 
I wanted an actual pencil again and I wanted to see how much it was. They didn't have a coupon, which was okay. I mean, because like I said, it's, and I looked, it's $3.59 for the pencil. And um, on the site is $6. And I wanna say everywhere else, it's been like somewhere around like $5.99 or $6.99. I wanna say some, I, I honestly think I paid seven bucks for it. Like at Target and whatnot before. Because that's why I used to... Oh my God, my hair looks wild, y'all. I'm going to go home and wash it. Um, I am so hungry. But, um, yeah, so... Um, today was like stock up on like stuff that you need day. But um, I, I totally kind of like got sidetracked there. But these are the pencils. They are by Milani. They're brow pencils. They come with the little um, brow definer at the bottom. And then they have the, um, you know... I really, really like these. Like, this is an alternative to, like, pan. Like, I mean, I wouldn't say they're, like, perfect, but they last a very long time, and they're definitely worth the $3.59. I ended up picking up two of them just because I wanted to have them to have them be easy for me. Like, I probably will take this on my vacation when I go home because it's easy. Oh, excuse me. And then I stocked up on these again. You guys know I buy these and keep these in my makeup drawer. I opened up my last pack today, so I bought two more packs. Okay, I'm ready to go, cards. And then I bought SPF because, like, let me stick this in this bag. I got SPF 85, which is pretty high. I didn't even know it came that high. But this is a water-resistant one, so I wanted that one because I feel like it's just better. What else did I buy? Oh, <laughs> I did buy myself some ice cream because I like this ice cream. I'm not a person that over overindulge in ice cream. Uh, my favorite kind, okay, I'm trying to turn with one hand, is um, Blue Bell and it's the banana pudding. This is my favorite, like, and it's hard to find it. Like this ATB by my house for some reason been having it a lot lately, which I'm really glad. But um, I went on and got the big tub because now this big tub will last me forever if I'm just eating it. But if others eat it, then of course it won't last me as long. But I'm not a person that's tempted. Like I wouldn't eat it like every night or like every day even. Like I'm not going to eat it past 7.30 period. But um, sometimes I just like to have some. And like the other day I was thinking, oh, I would love to have a scoop of my ice cream. And so I got some. So that is all the damage I did today, and I'm actually gonna head home now. I'm like really right down the street from my house, and I'm gonna wash my hair. And I think I might try that oatmeal mask today just because I wanna see what it's like. And if I'm not like really happy, well, I got the kit, so I guess, I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna like it, but, um, I want to try the eye cream. I just want to see I, the eye cream. I'm very concerned about because I don't know. If, I'm not an eye cream type of girl, but I'm curious. It's called an eye detox, so like I'm kind of curious about how that's gonna work out. Bye for now.